often stand up in the microphone and, and, and tear up and cry because I just, I'm that way. And I was, I think it was Peggy, Peggy Lucas told me one time, no, you just fool a lot. You're very passionate. You're a very passionate person. So you're a very passionate person and passion in your life is just going to help you get, go even further than, and it's going to help you with, achieve your goal of becoming a pediatrician. So I just wanted to ask that. Um, one thing that I do want to say, um, I had planned to have a box of hair um, nets for you, um, Sarah, because I know how much you like them. Sarah, I have to just share this little story. Sarah um, got to experience uh, a need for wearing a hair net down in the ER, and and um, um, and we just wanted to give her, you know, she was just like, I'd, I'd rather have those on. So. We had a nice discussion about the importance of all of the materials we wear. Oh, look, she has it. She's kept it. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's something I think she'll treasure forever. Yes. So they got to wear scrubs all week, and she also, she's the only one that got the hair, the hair net. Our next student that is going to be coming up is Mercedes Ball. Now, Mercedes has a... Um, there's a lot I kind of want to put on you, so I'm going to say a little bit, because, and then see here, here I go. Um, Mercedes kind of has a little bit of an interesting story. She, she's had some, some major, major, major surgeries in her lifetime, and um, she wrote, and, and just so you know, I get all these quotes and comments from parents, because you fill out an application, and there's a reason why, because I get to take all your loving filling, and I read all of it at the end of the week, so I can see, oh, now I know you. And now I know where you come from and what your parents are saying, and I can feel it and feel what you're saying and understand what you're saying. And Mercedes says, I would like to help others in need the way I was helped through tough times I, because I can put myself in their shoes. Mercedes' mom describes her as a quick learner, highly motivated, who will give 110%, and she's extremely mature for her age. And her um, teacher, Miss Baseman, says, and, and this I have to say, I agree with 1 million percent. She's very poised, confident, and has integrity. She's hardworking, intelligent, motivated, focused, and she's a phenomenal young woman, and that makes others feel very comfortable. And you are a phenomenal young woman, and it's been a pleasure getting to know you this week. It's okay, Sarah, I'm like you, I'm getting all teary-eyed. <laughs> okay, first off, I'd like to introduce my table. I have my parents, Michael and Anna Olson. And then I have Lisa Hill, who <laughs> administrative assistant of the president. I have Mike Hara and Cameron at my table too. Um, this week was very memorable in many ways. Um, my favorite was the OR because I want to become a surgical nurse. Like Joanna said, I did have a major surgery about two months ago. I had stuff coming. I had um, heart surgery, and it was just really tough in, in the nurse room. <laughs> and the nurse helped me when, you know, 16-year-old having heart surgery is nerve-wracking. It's full of but... Um, I just wanted to do that for anybody who's having any type of surgery, so I got to experience some of that. And then my least favorite was, had to be radiology. I can't stand that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm staying away from there. <laughs> but, um, <coughs> other than radiology, ER was... Not that fun either, but um, I actually had a lot of fun um, this week, and it made me realize that it's not going to be easy, but I want to help people how people have helped me, and that's what I want to accomplish in life. So I want to thank Johanna and everybody who put this program on for letting me experience that, and thank you. It's different things that bring everybody into healthcare, and it's a story of healthcare. When you're there, you meet people, and they have their different journeys and their different paths that have brought them to being in here, and um, and that's what makes everyone um, 
the kids, we've talked a lot about healthcare is a place for a lot of compassion and understanding and and because um, you're dealing with people at the most difficult part, time in their lives when it's difficult, their loved one or their selves are, are, are hurting or having issues and they're afraid and being able to have that compassion and share an experience and understand what they're going through is extremely helpful. Um, I want to just point out at this point, because we're having the kids introduced, but I want to just take an extra moment to introduce over at, um, at uh, Mercedes' table is um, sitting Cameron Hill and Makara Figueroa. 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 Um, Makara is a past um, student um, who attended this camp uh, two years ago, and she um, just recently graduated from Calaveras High and is off to a great, great, great future. And next to her is Cameron, and Cameron is, he holds a really, really special place in my heart. Um, every, this is our, our fourth year that we've done it, our fifth camp, and Cameron has been with us with every single camp. He started off with us the first year um, when he was going to be a junior, and then the second year he came on when he was going to be a senior. And then last year, he said, um, he called me and he said, I, I know I just graduated from high school, I got to UC Monterey and I'm going into mathematics and I made the honor roll and what else? He's really smart, he's really smart. And he wants Jacob's job, he wants to be the CFO of the hospital. Um, and he probably will, so we got a little bit more time, both of you. <clears throat> he's uh, just finished his freshman year at college and is doing extraordinary. Um, Don't forget to be he made the dean's list in mathematics. Yes. Um, but Cameron called me right after he graduated and said, "Hey, um, can you, uh, you know, use any help? Is it, you know, you, you, I'd like to come and be a part of the camp." So I, I said, um, "Well, let me think of it." And about a half hour later, I called him and said, "Okay, we're going to create this student mentor spot, and you're going to come in it." And and he did, and he was awesome, and it opened up the door for Megan, who's doing it this year. And um, and then he just, you know, I just thought when we were planning this, I thought, oh, it would be so sad not to have a Cameron here. So I, I, I called him, texted him, and said, I know you probably can't come because you have an internship this summer, but maybe if you could. And he cleared his schedule so he could be here with you guys today because he just, I really think, believes in this program. And so um, I just wanted to thank Cameron, and I wanted to share that with you guys because there's success stories. and. Soon, hopefully, you guys will return, and I'll be pointing you out and Makara out, like Makara pointing you guys out, saying, "Here's the success stories from this. This they helped figured out. He figured out that he didn't really like healthcare, but he likes healthcare CFOs. So, you know, <laughs> hey. So with that, we'll move on to our next student. Our next student is going to be Olivia. Olivia Deer. Olivia is going to be a senior at Calvers High. Well, Olivia. And <clears throat> she wants to become an anesthesiologist. Um, she came in wanting to be an anesthesiologist, and she said, I still want to be an anesthesiologist because I like the respiratory system. Those are exact words. And one of the things she told me at one, one day, saying um, one of her favorite things, and I'm not sure she's still going to say it, but she said she's going to take out from here. Someone told her, if you fill it in here, it'll come here. And uh, she took that from one of her mentors that told her this week, and or one of your patients. It was her second patient in the OR that told her that. So I thought that was really awesome. And she knows that she's wanted to be an anesthesiologist since she was five years old because she wants to help others. And she's helped deliver puppies in the past, so she, she just knows this is for her. Her mom describes her as an amazing person who loves learning and is a hard worker. And if um, she likes uh, her teacher, it, it, I think it was teacher was just give you other reference. your anatomy teachers said she applies herself to learning as much as she can and she is a very positive influence and she is a very positive influence I've seen that in her her great smile and she's extremely eager to learn which has just been very nice it's been a pleasure thanks uh, as a lot of other people said I'm not so Speeches, but I wanted to start with introducing my table. There's my mom taking pictures of me, which she knows I don't like. <laughs> and she's stay at home, and I love her so much. She takes care of me a lot. Don't say she should be in, in R, but she doesn't want to be. I mean, 
or in, sorry, my dad, been here all week, I should know that. And Karen Romero, she's a doctor at Del Hyde, um, a rehab spot, family position rehab spot. And um, Deanna, um, she was the head of dietitian a while back. Staff dietitian. And she went to the store, now she is at the gift shop here. So yeah, that's my table. And I've really enjoyed this week. My favorite day was on Wednesday with the OR. I, loved the flow of it, and I definitely still want to be an anesthesiologist, and the least thing I didn't like was the clinic. I'm sorry for anybody that's in the clinic, but <laughs> that will not be me. <laughs> <laughs> it was too jumpy, too back and forth. It was not for me, but I've enjoyed the time I've had here. I thank Joanna, even though it's probably the tenth time you've got this, but I still want to thank you for giving me this opportunity and showing me that there's so much you can be with the medical degree, and uh, not degree, medical life. Thank you, and bye.